Hello creative people and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I sketch and color my fashion illustrations on Photoshop CC. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and let's get started. So this is my sketch, this is how my model looks like. I already did her hair and the earrings and you can see the lines are not straight because this is just simply a construction that I'm going to build on once I'm coloring it. If you don't know how to create sketches, please comment below this video and I'm going to try to create a new video on how to create sketches uh, from the beginning. I created a new layer that I renamed for skin and I took one of my photos and just took this tool and placed it on the skin so I have the perfect skin color and I colored the whole body. It's very important to change the opacity to the about 50 or 20 depending on how strong brown you want this color to be. For me, for example, I changed this because I didn't like um, the color was too dark. Uh, and if you go with this brush again above this color, it will get darker, which will create more shadows. So that's why I went with a little bit lighter color. Once you have colored the whole body once, you're going to take a smaller brush that has much more blending effect to it. Once again, lowering the opacity more and then creating small shadows on the body. As you have noticed, I'm playing a lot with different brushes. Some of them are very hard, some of them are very soft. I'm using the soft ones when it comes to creating shadows. For example, here I'm doing simply the same as I do on my makeup, you know, contour. So I'm doing contour with uh, a brown color and I'm not changing color at all. The only thing that I'm changing is the opacity of the how much um, the color is coming out. So it's very important to play with those two and of course with the brushes. So here I'm just creating shadows on my cheekbones, the nose, the eyes, the lips and etc. Then I'm taking brown color instead of black and just drawing the eyes, um, the lips, the brows and then I will be adding colors in the eyes and also shadow for the makeup and of course black color for the eyelashes and the eyeliner. Also going to add some color for the teeth and also adding a little bit of the blush on the cheeks and I'm gonna highlight just like I do my makeup I'm just gonna highlight the spots that are underneath the eyes on the forehead and on the chin I feel that she's a little bit too light so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit bronzy on the forehead on the sides on the cheeks and underneath the chin as well I'm taking dark brown color, coloring her ears and just, you know, shaping her head. Mm -hmm. 
For the hair, I'm gonna take a very small brush and I'm using dark black 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 color and I'm creating hair line and then I will change my black color into lighter black and also change the opacity and then just add it underneath. I'm also going to take a little bit of gray, light light gray and add it as a, like a shimmer to the hair. I felt like she was too light so I went back with brown color and just created more shadows so she have more color and then I took also white and just highlighted uh, parts of the body that needs to be highlighted. The last step I'm gonna take black uh, color or you can take like dark brown color and just take also a very small pencil and line up the edges. Moving on to the design, for the design it's very different depending what kind of material you want to draw. For me I decided to create like a see-through corset top and then some kind of like letox pants. For the top I'm gonna go ahead and create it in white color and I am trying to make this like a see-through with a lace. For the pants, I'm trying to create black letox pants, so I'm playing with different um, types of black shadows. Uh, so I'm not using the whole complete black color, except I'm using you know different shadows of black. Then I'm just gonna delete all the openings and create eyelids with a silver or gray color, and then also add the lacing. And this is the finishing look. This is how I color my fashion illustration on Photoshop CC. There are probably many other tutorials on YouTube where they will show you different techniques of how they color fashion illustrations, but this is how I do mine. I know I did this very fast because if I would do every single step, it will just take like hours and nobody wants to watch like two hours of video. Uh, but if you want me to do more detailed video, please comment below if it's hair or just face or skin color or how I do different fabrics please comment below and I will try to create these videos I really hope you liked this tutorial and if you did please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and that will be it for today see you till next time hey everyone